Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And so I'm going to get into a little rant right now to some of these ungrateful uh, fans. Um, or quote unquote fans. Okay? Uh, so supposed fans of Cody Rhodes or fans of AEW. Okay? Because ever since last night. Obviously, there was huge reaction from a lot of people, but then there was also a lot of these salty, salty fans who claimed that Cody Rhodes is a quote-unquote traitor for leaving AEW for WWE and taking the entrances, the theme songs, the logos with him. First of all, if you are one of these people, you're an idiot. You are an idiot. And you are not a real fan of Cody Rhodes. Okay, also. If you're one of these people, you're not a fan of Cody Rhodes. Because, newsflash, dumbasses, Cody Rhodes owns that the Kingdom theme song. I hate to break that to you. He was using that theme song before AEW even existed. He used it in Ring of Honor. He used it in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Shut up, okay? The logos as well. He owns them. So when he leaves a company and goes to another company, he is allowed to use those elements to his character for wrestling. So when he left AEW, the logos... His name, which he now owns the trademark to his name. I know he had uh, he had trademark issues with WWE for the Cody Rhodes name. But as of 2020, he got the rights to the trademark because WWE decided to let it expire. So Cody Rhodes actually owns his name. So if he ever leaves WWE again, the Cody Rhodes name will go with him. Because he basically licensed the name to WWE. Uh, just like how he licensed the theme song and he licensed the uh, he licensed the logo. Um, he licensed the logo. That was all his stuff. He owns it. He licensed it to WWE just like how he licensed it to AEW when he worked for, for AEW. I don't know how many of these people um, like don't know this like it was obvious like cody has owned this stuff for a while now this is not D uh, aews this never was aew and also newsflash the people that saying he's a traitor was uh uh adam cole a traitor was uh mark henry a traitor was big show a traitor was dean ambrose a traitor because they all jumped for AEW, and I don't remember anybody saying that they were traitors. You know? Um, news for, see, I was a kid during the Attitude Era. I lived through wrestlers jumping to other organizations from the WWE to WCW and from WCW to WWE. No one ever called wrestlers who jumped from other organizations as quote-unquote traitors, okay, first and foremost. And also, there, also another thing, there is no AEW without Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes literally was a huge focal point in the reason why the company even exists, okay. And also, another thing... If Cody Rhodes was, you know, if Cody Rhodes had been a real selfish guy, he would have put the world title on him in AEW. Because as you guys remember, he was a he was a part booker in the uh, in the AEW in the first like year year or two or whatever it was. Uh, he was a booker there. He didn't put the world title, not, not only did he not put the world title on himself, not only did he not put the world title on himself in AEW, but he actually booked himself into a corner where he could never win the, uh, the AEW world title when he lost to Chris Jericho, which 
I never understood the concept of that stipulation. I thought it was supposed to be as long as Jericho, uh, as long as Jericho is the champion. I thought that was supposed to be a stipulation, but no, it was all all together. Um, but there is no there's no AEW without Cody Rhodes. There there like the the AEW you see would not exist. Okay. You wouldn't be seeing CM Punk wrestling again. You wouldn't know who Kenny. You wouldn't know who Kenny Omega is, because people like me that don't watch New Japan New New Japan Pro Wrestling didn't know who the hell Kenny Omega was. I didn't know who he was. I first time I heard about him was when he wrestled Chris Jericho. Um, you wouldn't know MJF. Okay, right now. I mean, some people would know who MJF is if they, you know, watched, like, indie stuff or wherever MJF would have been had AEW not existed. Um, and he might have eventually gone to WWE. I don't know. Um, you know, MJF is the best, like, heel right now in the past, like, I think, freaking 15 years. Um, and he... You know, I don't know where he would be right now. Um, if he was in WWE, I'm <laughs> certainly have zero confidence in what they would have done for his gimmick. Um, you know, point being is Cody Rhodes is a huge part of the reason why this company exists, and for him to be a tra labeled a traitor for going to a company. Going back to the company he was with for the first 10 years of his career, okay, um, after, you know, whatever happened with AEW, whatever was the end of his contract, or, uh, I, we're never going to know the full story, Cody's telling kind of his story, and I don't think Tony Khan's going to get into what uh, his story is on it, um, I personally believe the reason why Cody left AEW was because he was being devalued. It had I don't think it had anything to do with money. Uh, I think it was because he was being devalued on the card. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, I don't know how true it is or not, but I, I believe it was because he was devalued. He was devalued in the card when he first when he first created AEW with Tony Khan. Okay. Cody Rhodes was a hot commodity. You know, he was hot. He was hot. Everyone knew who he was. You know, you know, for a guy who's not in WWE, that's pretty impressive. Um, everyone knew who he was. He was a hot commodity. He had just done the, you know, the all-in show where he had guys from Ring of Honor. He had guys from... Uh, uh, NWA, he had a bunch of different promotions all in one for this one spectacular event that he put together. Um, obviously they had all, they had a booking committee for the specific event, but it was all put together by Cody. It was all put together by Cody. Um, and that made him a hot commodity. He had won the Ring of Honor world title. He had won briefly uh, the NWA world title. Um, so he had he had a lot of value to the new AEW company that was being founded by him and Tony Khan. He had value. All right. Uh, main event t caliber guy. Okay. However, once AEW started getting rolling and they started doing world titles, the TNT title, which is basically intercontinental title, um, you know, once all that stuff started coming in and more people started joining AEW, he slowly started going down the cart, especially once he lost to Jericho and they booked himself in that corner where he couldn't win the world title anymore. All right. And... He didn't book himself to be world champion, which I think that deserves a lot of respect because if he had booked himself to be world champion, people would have said he's a mark for himself. Um, you know, because that's what they say they say about, you know, when Hogan had creative control, he basically put the stamp down that he had to win the world title. You know, 
Cody had done that, that's what y'all would be saying now. But oh, oh, Cody, you know, is is you know, he was a booker. He was a booker, right? He was a freaking booker and he didn't make himself world champion. He didn't make himself world champion. And people are using this. I've I've seen people use this as an argument, which I think is really stupid because again, if he had done that, people would have bitched and said that he he's a mark for himself and he booked himself as a champion. Um booked himself as the world champion you know so i think it's really incredibly ignorant and again these people that are making these stupid comments because i've seen it i've seen people talk about it you people should be ashamed of yourselves you people are not real cody fans if you believe this if, if you're one of those people that thinks that AEW owns the rights to his logos and his uh, theme song. Then you're even not or you're you're not <laughs> you're not a you're not a Cody fan. You're not a Cody fan if y you really believe that. Okay, because again, he had this stuff before AEW even existed. He was coming out to this stuff on Ring of Honor, on TNA, uh, on NWA television. Okay. He was coming out to this music. Uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. He was coming out to this music. He was using these logos. All right, These are his logos that he licensed to the promoter company that he's a part of. So he can use them when he's there. So whenever he, if, if he decides to leave WWE for whatever reason, whenever his contract expires or he gets released, which I don't think that will happen, uh, but if that ever happens for whatever reason... You know, he takes the logos, he takes the theme songs with him uh, to whatever company he goes to. That That's his stuff. He has a rare, rare thing that not many wrestlers have. CM Punk has this. CM Punk owns his logos. CM Punk owns his trademark for his name. Uh, he doesn't own his theme song, but he gets a license to use it because, uh, you know, his theme song is, living, is from Living Color, uh, which... You know, cultural personality is an iconic theme, is an iconic song in itself without CM Punk uh, as its theme song. So, um, it's not very hard for WWE or AEW to get the rights to that. It's just they got to pay a lot for it. Um, but in the case of Cody, he actually owns the rights to his theme song, Kingdom, because Kingdom was a song specifically made for him. It was specifically commissioned for him. Um, so, I don't understand how people can actually call themselves Cody Rhodes fans. I actually even seen, pe I seen like a tweet of some dude actually burning a poster. Burning some freaking paper or poster thing of Cody and calling him a traitor for leaving AEW. I'm like, dude, are you kidding me right now? Dude, this guy is doing what was right for him at that time. AEW was devaluing him. All right. They devalued him for the other guys that they had signed, which I can't blame them. They got some really good acquisitions. Acquisitions since uh, he, uh, since, since AEW was created. And you got a lot of younger guys. That are going to eventually be world champions. You got Wardload. You got MJF. You know. You got a lot of young guys in there. That are going to eventually break out and be world champion. Or you know get contract extensions. I don't know what MJF's planning. Because now he's saying that you know in two years. He's going to uh, sign with WWE. Or you know he's going to you know want the biggest contract ever from uh, Tony Khan. Or whatever. You know, I don't know how much of that is a work or a shoot, but uh, <laughs> with MJF, you have no idea because he's like the best heel in the past 15 years. So, um, you know, we'll never know that for sure. Um, you know, uh, I have no idea. I have no idea right now. Like, but I just think people are so dumb right now. Um, you know, the people that, you know, and I think this is most, uh, mostly the, the AEW, like, biased fans. Like, don't get me wrong, I like AEW. 
I like AEW, but I'm not going to be biased towards AEW. Like, I tell it like it is. There, AEW obviously has the better wrestling aspect of 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 the two, of WWE and AEW. Um, obviously, they have a better tag team division. Uh, but I don't think AEW has a better women's division. I think the women's division in the WWE is far better. Uh, the only person who I think is really good in that company, in, in AEW, is Britt Baker. Britt Baker, to me, is their number one woman. Uh, I don't think the other women are really that good. Um, I, I think they're okay. Some of them are okay and have potential, but they don't have the, they don't have the whole package compared to uh, Britt Baker. She can wrestle. She can work. Uh, she can talk. She can tell a story. Um, she can tell a story. Um, she's not afraid to. She's not afraid to uh, freaking bust herself up. Um, like literally, thumbtacks bloody all over the place. Uh, her face. Like she's the only woman to me right now that I could see. Um, that could go toe to toe with any of the WWE women right now. Um. The top uh, women in WWE. Um, but yeah, I mean, the wrestling aspect, yeah, they're, they're better than WWE. But, I mean, that doesn't mean that WWE hasn't done some good things either. You know, despite a lot of the bad shit that WWE does these days. Uh, but again, you know, I, I, I just... You know, if you're a wrestling fan, it's just like, you want to see... You want to see... Like, like, I don't want, like... <laughs> Like just because I mean we we trash a, a lot of what WWE do, currently does these days, because it's the easiest thing to do. That, that that doesn't mean I want WWE to just suck always. I want them to be better. I'm hoping that they eventually get better, but I don't want to be like, oh well, I'm just gonna like shit on WWE and be like pro oh everything AEW does is great because that's not true there's a lot of things AEW I think has done that is stupid okay um AEW has a lot of great things but that doesn't make them the greatest ever like where they can do no wrong because they've done some they've done some terrible things I mean look at how they handled the Matt Hardy Sammy Devaro hold the buckle with the you know the concussion that last man standing match, you know the concussion and stuff like that. You know forcing Matt to continue with the concussion. You know there's been a lot of uh, there's been a lot of some hurdles with with AEW. Um, again, are they the better better pound for pound uh, wrestling you know product? Yeah, but there's also elements I think that need improvement on. When it comes to AEW, I do like that they have a ranking system. I think WWE should be doing that. Uh, you know, wins and losses actually matter. I do like that AEW does that. I like that they brought back the whole uh, heel, babyface locker room concept where they have two entrances that you come out of. You know, if you're a babyface, you come out of one. If you are a heel, you come out to the other. That's something, that's a callback from the 80s. From the 80s wrestling uh that you know wwe kind of just stopped doing uh i think like in the early 90s maybe it was um so that that's something i thought was really good that they they did but i just think a lot of these people that are complaining about cody are just like pro aew fans that just they they, they only want aew to succeed you know and if you leave, then you're like a traitor, which that's not true. He's not a traitor. His contract ended, and WWE gave him a good contract, um, and they let him keep his character. They let him keep the character he created. The American Nightmare character was a character he created, not AEW. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes was created by Cody Rhodes. Okay? He created that character long before AEW even existed. That's why he was a focal part of Tony Khan creating AEW. Because he was a part of that. Okay? 
So people just need to really shut up when they make comments like this because it's very, very stupid and ignorant. Um, you know, I don't really have that much to say, but I just really wanted to video get this out because I just am really pissed right now at some of these comments that I've seen. I just think it's ridiculous. Um... It's some type of anti, I guess, WWE or some pro AEW type logic. And I just think it's quite stupid. Um, you know, if you're a pro wrestling fan, you should just like everything that's good. Okay. You know, me, when I, you know, when I, you know, during the Attitude Era, when WCW existed and WWE existed, I watched both products. I tried as hard as I could to watch both. Okay. I was a wrestling fan. It didn't matter where which one they came from. I was a wrestling fan, you know. So while we we kind of trash WWE a lot uh, these days with uh, the way they 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 do their product with being being PG and all this, you know, if WWE does something good, I'm gonna credit them for it, you know. And if AEW does something really bad, I'm gonna diss them for it, um, and vice versa. You know, but I just think it's quite really stupid at what people are doing. Uh, and, and this Cody Rhodes is amazing. <clears throat> and I'm really happy that Cody Rhodes is back in the WWE. That's about it, guys. Comment, rate, if you like to spin my, view, if you like to spin my videos, please subscribe. And that's about it, guys. I am the SS Ultimate Goku Moderator. Peace.